Um, what I'm gonna run through real quick is uh, books that I picked up in the last two months. I think it's been a little bit more than two months. And then books that I picked up from my local comic shop. This week, minus one eBay book that I have in here. Okay, so I'll get started with the slabs. First one I got is 9.6. First appearance of Silver Sable. It's Amazing Spider-Man 265. And it is in a pretty good condition. I don't see any real potential to get a great bump if I press it or anything. So I'm just gonna leave that one in the slab. Not really the 9.6 in my opinion. Um, this is one of my favorite books. Um, this book is the first appearance of Evil Ernie. Oh right, yeah, right there. And Lady Death. Looks like it's got a couple spine techs. Pull them up. I'll see if I can get you the right lighting. The right angles to pick them up. And there might be one right there. Yeah, that's one. They're ever so slight. Since they are breaking color, I don't see getting a better grade than a 9.4 on that one. Which is unfortunate because that book is very scarce at high grade. It's hard to find. Um, this is a book I bought from a convention. He was asking 65 bucks. I bought it with a couple other books and I wound up getting it for 30. First appearance and origin of the cat, Greer Grant, later becomes Tigra. I bought it because I like the cover. I'm a fan of the 20 cent books. And it was already graded, so 30 bucks for already slab book, 7.0. Had to get that one. Um, Mr. Sinister, 9.8. I had one copy that I bought from eBay not too long ago. Um, but this one wasn't too bad. I think I paid 200, 215, 220, something like that. Um, but yeah, it's the first appearance of Mr. Sinister. So, uh, I just remember Mr. Sinister when I was growing up. I used to collect the little comic book cards when I was in like third, fourth, fifth grade, something like that. And um, Mr. Sinister was one of the characters that popped up a lot on those cards, so I had to get that one. Next book up, I got this book a couple months ago. This is Tales of Suspense number 45. This is the first appearance of Pepper Potts. It's also the first appearance of Happy Hogan and Jack Frost. But I am a fan of the female characters in all the comic books and um, that's Tony Stark's female character, so 5.0, I was happy to get that. I think I paid 200 bucks for it. This is a book. This is a book that you can find. You're going to want to grab it. Um, I got this one in a 9.8. But the problem with this book, I still got it in the CGC um, plastic that comes with it, because I'm going to send it back in. This is one of the old... Uh, original when they first started doing the new labels before they changed the inner well you can see this one this one has a new label but inside you'll see like the little dark plastic if you don't already know this I mean by now it's it's been been around for a couple months so it's pretty much almost everybody knows it but you'll see this one you can't see the inner well it's just clear plastic and what that's doing is uh the books if you look down the book you can see it's starting to see right Right there, that little little bit of light. The book's starting to wrinkle up inside of it from when you when you squeeze it like this. It like pushes and pulls and pushes and pulls and the air starts squeezing the book tighter this way. So uh I just gotta send that back into CGC, which I plan on doing uh at probably MegaCon coming up in May. So I'll probably take that in, send it in to get re slabbed. Before the book gets damaged. All right, and then now for my unslab books. This is um first. It's a number one. It's the first Suicide Squad. I paid four bucks for it. I paid a dollar more than the cover price. And this one is pretty nice looking condition. It's a near mint book. I like to keep them fresh. You guys know that. If you've been watching the videos, um, this is an eBay book. I don't believe I've shown this one, but there's a story behind this one. I uh, This book, I bought it off eBay, um, and I got a tracking number that said 
it's been shipped, it's delivered to your house. Well, I got home and I had two shipments. And one of them came, and one of the shipments was like 10 bucks, and this one was all by itself. So I knew that somebody just didn't come and take my packages off the porch because one of them was there and one of them wasn't. So I called um, the next day, and or I, I called the post office the next day and told them, hey, I don't have my package, but it said it was delivered. So they filed a claim, and then later on that day, I text or I emailed the guy that I purchased it from, and uh, I let him know, hey, this is what's going on. Um, he said the same thing the post office did, you know, just check around the neighbors and uh, see what happens, see if it doesn't just pop up in the next couple of days. Well, the following day after that, um, the post, the lady, my postal lady, she came and says, um, you know, I accidentally delivered it to somebody else's house, and they gave it back to me, and uh, here it is now, so. Got it back, I'm happy about it. Uh, if you look closely, there's a couple spine ticks. And there's a pretty decent little crease right in here somewhere. Yeah, right there. Not bad though, happy with that one. Um, these are venomized covers. These are all in near mint shape. Near mint-ish. A couple of my spine ticks, but uh, these are just, the ones that aren't um, already boarded and bagged, I just paid cover price for off the shelves. Let's see if I can grab a couple of the, uh, go through those real quick. This is one of my favorite um, Venomized covers. This one is the uh, Renew Your Vows Amazing Spider-Man number 5 variant edition. Beautiful, beautiful copy. Beautiful cover. Good job on that one. Another Venomized cover. Nice looking book. Good shape. Iron Man number 5. That one I paid five bucks for. That one I got the little sticker up top. Ba ba. All right. All right. Pick this one up this week. Also paid cover price. The X Men Prime. X Men Prime number one variant edition. It's not my favorite of the Venomized, but I'm trying to get all, get all of them since they're cheap. And they look cool. I like the covers. I'm a cover guy, so. This is uh, the Captain Marvel Venomized variant. And uh, what I like about this one is uh, Captain Marvel reminds me of Nightcrawler, and I'm a fan of Nightcrawler, so. The only reason I got it is for the cover. This is a book that I got this week. So there's a little story behind this one, too. This is uh, the all-new Wolverine number 19. This uh, month, she came out with her new costume. So, I bought this one at the store. When I got there, it was the last one that they had. You can see right there. Somewhere in the cover. Yeah, right there. There it's showing up. A little spine tape. Not a big deal. It's still coming in a high grade, but... I wound up going to another shop that had a couple copies, and I picked the best one off the shelf so I can get... Crispy, crispy copy. I got both of those, and then I also picked up the variant. The variant I paid eight dollars for, and it also uh, it's the first appearance of the costume with the variant. So I don't really know what the incentive number is, but it's a beautiful, it's in beautiful shape. So um, unstoppable watch number one. Bought this one because it's a number one. I'm a fan of the female superheroes. Not a lot of people are. I heard uh, Marvel's going through some hardship right now because they're trying to be more diverse. But uh, I'm a fan, so. Um, Spider Gwen number one, first printing. Paid five bucks for it. Came out four dollars, so I paid a dollar of a cover price. Not a big deal. Support the local shops. You guys know it. Um, all new Wolverine. I should have showed this for the number 19, but this is number 18. I picked up number 18 last month, but uh, this was the variant, and it was cover price on the shelf, so pick that one up. Thor. This is the uh, Jane Foster's Thor, Thor number 15. This book I paid um, cover price for, and I really like the cover, so I had to go ahead and pick that one up. 
And then to go along with that, I also got number five. Is this number five? Yes, Thor number five. I like the cover. Odin, you get the reflection of the Jane Foster Thor as I. Beautiful cover. I'll have to do some uh, research on the on the uh, artist to find out who's doing these covers because the dude's legit. Legit. No joke. Um, this, I picked this up at a show. I don't know why it's in with this stuff. Um, I believe I picked it up at the same show that I picked up this. Spider Woman. Uh, number Marvel Spotlight 32. First appearance of Spider Woman. Um, this is the first appearance of Laura Kenny as the new Wolverine. Um, and it's a sketch cover. I had the J. Scott Campbell cover. And now I have this cover so I can get J. Scott Campbell to sketch me up something nice on it. Um, speaking of something on J. Scott Campbell, I, um, for the last 10 years, maybe 12 years, I've been collecting J. Scott Campbell stuff. Um, started with Gen 13 and Danger Girl and stuff like that. And then um, I've been trying to go to a show and get his, um, get him to do a sketch for me since I first started collecting. And uh, I remember I, there was this cover that Mario Gully did with Ant. And uh, actually, I'll pull that one up. It's the first book that I ever got signed, sketched, anything like that. Let's see. Uh, here it is here. This book here. It's uh, my retailer incentive of Ant number one. I came back at a 9.6. It's the... Uh, Virgin edition, and um, it says two different sketch covers exist one by Mario Gully, one by J. Scott Campbell. And it was signed on 8 1906. This is the first book I ever got graded in 2006, um, and the first book I ever got signed. And this is what started my collecting of comic books. So, 11 years I've been doing it, and then uh, that's the sketch that Mario Gully did, and he signed it there. And uh, he did a good job. I really liked it. I'm a big fan of it. It's been in my personal collection the whole time, so I figured I'd share it with you guys. But uh, since I bought this book, I went and bought the other version copy that J. Scott Campbell did, and I've been wanting him to sign that one forever. So before I sent this one off or did anything to do it to, with that, I would send off the my aunt because uh, that one will mean a lot to me. Anyways, I'll put that back later. So anyways, anyways, put this back up. This book here, that's um, something about this book. It's water damage really bad. I paid five bucks for it. You can see the water damage all up the spine. Let me get my face out of the camera so it zoom into the book a little bit. See the little moldiness going up the spine. It's got a really bad spine. Curve. Get my face out of there so it'll pay attention to the book and not me. There he goes. Try it again. Just get your face out of there, James. Yep. There you go. Yeah. So it's uh, it's all wrinkly. It's you know it's. Inside, you can see the water damage, the mold damage. It's a key issue, but uh, I think I'm going to try and see if I can not do a restoration of this book. Mainly because um, I want to test out the press. I bought a press from eBay. I paid 30 bucks for it. It's missing a pad. Um, and so I just had to modify it to actually press books. So that's probably one of the ones I'm going to test on it. I'm going to a show um, in two weeks. And I'm going to try and grab a bunch of Silver Age books and Bronze Age books that I can practice on out of the dollar bin, if, if uh, hopefully. So anyways, back to the, uh, back to business. Uh, Walking Dead number 164, I believe. Yep, this is the Wildcats variant. So it looks like the old Wildcats covers. Um, I have a small run of Walking Dead. Um, and I just... I missed this one two months ago when it came out. I decided to pick it back up again. And then there's uh, Harley and the Joker. Injustice. Uh, Ground Zero, Up in Smoke. Really like the cover. 
paid cover price for it. Had to get it. Beautiful book. So that's those two. Next, Rick and Morty. This is uh, this month's issue. Um, you guys saw my first video that I posted. Um, the book that I got that week was Rick and Morty number one, the first printing. Really wanted that book. Had to get it. Got it. Um, I paid for that Rick and Morty. I paid $429. So it's a lot of money for a brand new book. Um, but it's, it's a super high grade. And uh, I'm really happy to have it. Make sure I didn't pull that up. That's my Rick and Morty number one. Rick and Morty, I'm a fan. Um, the show is pretty good. The comic book is really good. And it's uh, been selling out like crazy. So, they're just in the first issue, they got like seven or eight different prints. Second issue, same deal. Third issue, same deal. So, really hot comic book. Um, to go with the Walking Dead that I just had, uh, 164. This is 166. Sorry, right, I got out of order. Um, this is this month's issue. Pick that one up. This is a really cool cover. I bought this one because it has Lobo on the cover. I'm a fan of Lobo. Um, it's Justice League of America number one. So I really like that. And uh, I got a couple of copies of Omega Men number one. Or, uh, sorry, Omega Men number three, the first appearance of Lobo. Um, Lobo was really big in the 90s and a lot in the 90s. Lobo, he's prime prime candidate to have his own show. Uh, this is Batwoman number one, J.G. Jones cover. This is uh, J.G. Jones. He's really good with doing all the variants and stuff. And uh, it's good when he goes, goes and does one of the uh, you know original covers. So, uh, beautiful cover. Not much to say about that, but it's a, it's a hot book. It's been selling pretty good. This is my second copy, so... Really like the cover. Fan of J.G. Jones. Um, Bloodshot number six. This is the first appearance of Ninjak. Um, I got this book in a lot of books from this week. I paid five bucks for it. Um, I think number six or seven is the first appearance of Ninjak in costume. Can't remember. This is six, so it's obviously number seven is the first appearance in costume. So, um, this is a good book. They're talking about making a Bloodshot movie. And, um, Bloodshot's a pretty decent story, so. And then the last one I got. Bam. That's the one to get. That is the best. I think it's in my top ten. My top ten of my best covers. This book is nice. Sharp corners. Nice spine. Same on the back, no dents, dings, ticks, tings. Inside, beautiful, pages beautiful, centered beautiful. Everything is nice, everything is tight. That's a prime candidate to send in to get graded. Background number 41. Very hard cover to come by. It's in my top 10 of my all time favorite books. Um, to me, it's almost like a grail book. I'll uh, try and post some more videos soon. Um, I'm going to try and get a press video because I've been getting a couple requests on the press video. And uh, I just got a camera and some lights to try and make the videos look a little bit better. And then uh, also, I guess since I got you here, I picked up a couple pops this week too. I got Big Daddy. I got it at Target for 15 bucks. This one I'm going to take out of the box. The box is all dinged up, but it's an oversized box, and I'm not a fan of the bigger ones. I got one other one. It's the Darrow over here with the chopper. But oh. I also picked up this guy at Target. It was a Target exclusive. He was on clearance for $6. So, A, it's an exclusive. B, 6 bucks. C, it's a zombie. Even though it's Call of Duty, and I'm not a fan of the game pops, I'm more like the uh, the um, 
TV pops and movie pops and stuff like that. And, uh, yeah, pretty much TV and movies all I have. And I got a couple superheroes. And a couple Disney, because I'm a fan of, uh, the Jack Skeleton, Nightmare Before Christmas stuff. But it's, uh, that's more of a TV thing, so. These are the only two game pops that I have. The Big Daddy I thought was cool. And a zombie, six bucks. Just can't go wrong. Alright, appreciate it, guys. Keep a uh, lookout for some of my other videos coming up. And, um, until next time, see you around.